Outer Banks, the Dare County Emergency Management Director said that high tide this morning flooded some roads and may travel dangerous. All the more reason that Dare County school officials made the right call when they canceled classes today. As for visitors, the Bonner Bridge is actually shut off to tourists. Stephen Graves is live in Kitty Hawk right now. Stephen, you spoke with a family who had to put their vacation on hold for the storm, huh? Yeah, you know, they're from Toronto. They had to leave, of course, Hatteras because of that visitor evacuation. But here in Kitty Hawk, this is where they're staying. They're staying in Nags Head, actually, but in the same area of Kitty Hawk. And as you can see, conditions aren't much better. Officials are worried about the high tide coming up and, of course, these dunes holding up as well. They're just hoping they can get back soon. Call it an unlucky case of deja vu for Robert Clout. Frustrated, but what can you do? The Toronto native is stuck at a Nags Head Hotel miles away from his vacation spot in Hatteras. His family had a rental home ready to go. This Toronto. would be the fourth time we've had a vacation down here interrupted by a storm. Every time we go back, we swear we'll never come here again. This time, the threat of Hurricane Maria's wrath means they have to stay out. Clout estimates almost half the guests in his hotel are like him under that mandatory visitor evacuation from the southern outer banks. No idea when they'll be able to return. It's hard to get concrete information. The problem, officials say rough waters and overwash, specifically on Trouble Spot Highway 12. We haven't seen it since a Monday. So we showed Clout what our cameras captured Wednesday morning. Shallow flood waters as we try to get into Rodanthe. Uh, I think it's another day or two before we get down there. Now it's just a waiting game. Clout says he's tried to contact his rental company for answers. Uh, they don't know. I mean, they, they have no idea. So he'll make the best out of the situation. We're not able to do what we would do, but we get to do different stuff. Even if it is for a fourth time. Yeah, put yourself in his situation four times having to leave. That's just crazy. Well, we spoke to Hyde County officials. They say a rough estimate is Friday before anyone's let back on Ocracoke. We talked to Dare County officials about Hatteras. They said they're just monitoring the conditions. As you know, those ferries are suspended. But take a look here. This is what we'll be monitoring. He'll have a live report um, coming up at 1230 about more of the conditions here in Kitty Hawk. For now, reporting live in the Outer Banks, I'm Stephen Graves. Back to you guys.